now now we'll come to the first stage so if you remember a while back two slides back we were discussing these are the stages right so first we need to do our design and timing setup so what do i mean by design and timing setup you have got different <clears throat> there are two parts to it one is design setup one is timing setup okay so when i say design setup if you don't look at this slide or if you look at this slide i want inputs from you people what do you mean by design setup come on. okay what files <coughs> would you need constraints def floor planning because you could have done a two pass flow of synthesis you remember two pass synthesis flow right you take certain information from the place and route tool you pass it back to your synthesis tool to better do to do a better synthesis right so you can potentially have already a floor planning information coming from the synthesis tool which it which it already used right uh, if it doesn't make sense to you i'll cover this in the next slide again what does two pass synthesis mean okay so essentially what in design setup what do we mean if we are doing place and route we have certain standard cells what do you mean by standard cell these are the cells provided by the foundry to you these have specific heights they have specific they have a uh, certain functionality you get very specific kinds of standard cells aoi o or and nand muxes right and then clock buffers there are very defined standard cells which you get you get their abs uh, you get their abstracts uh, when i say abstracts it's a layout with all the information uh, with only the information which is required for routing i am not diving into these details because we have covered them or will cover them probably in the later sessions okay so we have something called cells which we get from the foundry we get their logical information when i mean logical we get their uh, nand does ab bar that's its logic we get its timing information if it, it gets a input at certain time what's the delay right that's the timing if it gets the input at a certain slope what's the delay if it's loaded uh, using a capacitor of certain value what's the delay okay that's the timing information then the physical information is the uh, abstract views for it just the metal routing on top which is enough for the router we'll dive into that okay then there are technology files .tf these are the files someone tell need to tell me what is .tf metal route uh, exactly so if you are doing a design that design has different metal layers what are the expected widths what is the pitch all those info spacing, spacing minimum, width. minimum width all the design rules associated are in the dot technology file okay then there are rc model files called tlu plus it tells the rc it has rc lookup tables for this metal wiring okay now that information the standard cell information and the gate level necklace now where does this come from the gate level necklace comes from the syn synthesis tool okay then there is this information at the bottom there is constraints uh timing constraints are given to the synthesis tool and then it outputs a timing constraint MCMM is uh, multi corner multi mode uh, we will look into what that means a little bit again today then there is floor planning information uh, this this is due to the fact that we are we might have done two pass synthesis we'll look what that mean again there is power intent how do you define the power grid how do you uh, take outputs uh, or tap the power grid that's in the upfs then there is scan chain the scan chains are for your design for test dft uh, if you don't know that means uh, please no just note this down okay so all this information goes into a block some uh, in icc2 we define something called a block and that information in the bottom two uh, go into a block def definition the top all the technology information goes into the dlib okay now there are hard arrows and then there are dotted arrows any ideas why I, i would have made two kinds of arrows over here hard arrows mean is once i have created um, or once i have initialized say a dlib or a block or something 
hard arrows mean that locally in the icc2 environment the tool will have a copy of this available to it okay but dotted arrows mean that uh, every time you call for these things the technology files the standard cells the ndms what does ndm mean we'll look in the next slide the tool will actually go to the reference path and will bring up the information it does not create a local copy for all this so mostly for the technology information the tool will not create a local copy for all the design related information it does create a local copy okay one more time okay so the information at the bottom over here right these constraints floor plan power information scan chain date level necklist all these you usually have locally available so if you initialize a design in icc2 these will for sure be going to a block definition in icc2 and the tool will create a local copy of it now once you have initialized the design if you delete where this was actually present the tool does not care it has a local copy of it tries to do it uh, <coughs> for this uh, technology file and rc but this is an alternative method usually what is done is these all the technology related information is converted into something called ndm so these are called new data model libraries all the technology is usually passed through ndms okay and the tool does not create a local copy so if you delete the source where these ndms are present the tool will not know what to do so this is just a structure and you should know all these because this is frequently asked in interviews okay this is effectively what is required for an icc2 tool to do your design now uh, we saw here this this ndm new data model libraries these are essentially for all the technology related information okay so first when we trying to do the design setup we will create these these are either provided by the foundry or you create them now in the icc2 tool you create okay i think people are getting lost so i'll go back to the slide here again where are we design and timing setup so which part are we doing first design setup in the design and timing setup we are looking specifically into design setup design setup has two kinds of information one coming from the foundry one coming from the designer synthesis side okay all this goes into icc now we want to look at how the foundry information is present okay foundry information is roughly divided into these uh, there is timing and power information from dbs uh, in the dot db format there is physical information that is lef gds frame then there is frame only ndms this is used to be an old format just remember that there used to be frame only ndms there is rc models the tlu plus then there is dot technology uh, technology dot tf we already looked at all this right in the previous slide all these information you take all this information you open your icc compiler icc2 compiler into lm shell library manager shell you pass it and it creates a ndm cell library okay i want oh, the reason i'm showing this it all this is done inside your icc2 you're creating a library people ask you what does an ndm mean you should know it is a way to present your information such that it is easy for the icc2 when it is running your pnr flow to use ndms are nothing but a collection of information such that it will be easy for the pnr tool to use that information there is nothing special in it okay it is just a collection of all this and it is a database it is a very specific way in which specifically structured database there is nothing special in an ndm now if you'll take all this information and on from the other side you'll pass the design related information necklist sdc def and upf and all that goes into the icc2 compiler now here if this is the same thing which i mentioned i see compiler and uh, the ndms are usually in dot clips uh, uh ndm cell libraries are created by merging lo logical and physical models we saw this there is technology file logical libraries physical libraries after 
uh, after you have created the NDM, you will not be required to have this. So once you have this NDM library, you do not need this information, okay? That's present in a database separately as NDM. There's nothing. Reason I'm putting this in like five slides again and again, again and again is because these terminologies are very important from your interview perspective. What does DB, .tf, every one of these things uh, you should actually know. What was this? This was design setup, okay? Then there is something called timing setup. Like our uh, Facebook page, YouTube channel for more such updates. Thank you for watching. Be expert, buy expert. Best of luck.